and today I'm down in the situation room and I want to talk to you about these enhanced self-leveling followers for the AR style magazine. Now these aren't high capacity magazines. These are the standard issue military 30 round magazines and they come in two different um, configurations. They're really the basic overall design hasn't changed since the early days of the 30 round magazine. Initially, they had this follower and then they did the improved follower because they knew that this was causing problems. Now you can pick up these magazines fairly inexpensively, or at least you could back in the day when I got these. And sometimes they come with the improved follower and sometimes they come with the old follower, depending on what you get. I don't think that military surplus really discriminates between the two, but this follower is much improved over that one, but it still doesn't stand when you compare it to this follower, this Magpul enhanced self-leveling follower, notice the difference. It's gonna keep it, the follower from rocking any of the four different ways. So first of all, let me show you this follower in one of the magazines. If you just push your finger here, notice how the, the follower rocks. Notice what I just did to it. And it didn't go back to self-leveling, did it? And that's an issue. It can have feed issues. At least when the spring gets extended and there's just a couple of rounds left, maybe three rounds left, that can really cause an issue. You can also do that with the improved follower. You can tell how dirty that one is. Get my finger. I need to clean these. They probably haven't been used in years. See, I also did it to that one. And uh, let's see if I can get it to go back. So that's the improved design. You can tell by the color is different. But there's also another one that has this profile, I believe, that the Army has. It's a much improved design. And I think it's also this sand color or kind of a grayish color. I don't remember what it was exactly. But that is the improved one. Not much improved. But this Magpul enhanced self-leveling follower is much improved. It comes in yellow or kind of an OD green. Let me show you the back of it. That's kind of the the verbiage on the back of this one and these run um, I don't know what well, I got them from Midway I think for um, I don't know $9 something like that around $10 and I don't think I showed you this one let me push on this one I have difficulty trying to get that one the cock like I did the other ones if I can do it I haven't got it to do it yet and I don't know if I'm gonna get it to do it anyway that's a much improved design and I'm glad they didn't produce it in black otherwise you could easily confuse it with this one I don't know gives you indication that it's it's spent with the yellow that's why I picked the yellow it's in, probably not as tactical as the green so to replace it it's just it's quite easy to disassemble one of the magazines you just need a small or this in this case I'm using a medium regular screwdriver and you get under the lip on the plate on the bottom of the magazine just lift it up and pull it back just a little bit. It'll dislodge itself from here. It also has this little tab here that's it's kind of deceiving. You can't really push on that. You got to kind of push up and get this whole piece up and over that lip that's underneath there. Once you do that, you can just use your finger and pull on it. And then put your finger on the spring. Pull the spring out. And then you just got to take the spring out of the follower and sometimes you can use your finger or sometimes you can just pry up on it get that spring up out of the hole right there 
pull it down. And same orientation, that's how it came out. Now is the time to clean the spring. Just some carburetor cleaner, hose it down, and then wipe it down would be the, the proper thing to do. This one's kind of ugly. It's got some corrosion on it, it appears. I don't think I've ever cleaned this one. So then the cam follower just goes straight back in on this one because it fits so tight. Getting this one out, you have to cock it a little bit and play with it to get it out. And it's a little bit different the way it, it mounts into the hole there. But similar to the old style, you can do that one. Follow my directions. You can do this one. So just push the string back in. Of course, now is the time to clean the inside of the magazine too when you got it disassembled. Just hose it down with carburetor cleaner and then let it air dry. Or you could blow it dry with your air compressor. So push the spring in, hold it. Make sure you have the proper orientation on the bottom plate. Push it in until it gets over that lip right there. And like this one is bent a little bit. It's probably been disassembled a few times. Take it back off. And at least a little bit. I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. So it's bent down just a little. I bent it there. I really wanted to bend it there, but let's try it now. Yeah, see now it goes together hard. And that's what you want. So now you gotta push up on it and get it to go over that lip right there. And now I'll look at it. Now let's sit down onto the case. So I'm happy with that. So there's the new follower. Let's see. Much better. Much better. So again, these are the AR military. These are military surplus magazines. And they're not high capacity. Those are the standard capacity 30 round magazines. And uh, they're easy to do an improvement on. So they go from being a, a cheap army surplus magazine to be in a, a pretty nice magazine you gotta make sure that they're not bent in any way and um, when you pick them out if you get them individually sometimes they come bundled and you, you don't have a choice you just get what you get but if they have any kind of bends or you know they've been stepped on or anything any cracks in the welds then just throw them away Now that concludes the video. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and please subscribe. At Styles Automotive, I do general automotive work, modifications, and tips. So if you found this helpful on my adventure series, then please subscribe and watch my other adventure series videos. I do also have some military series videos that I've started to do recently. Be sure to check those out. I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors.